Okay, folks, so I've got a bunch of rock videos coming out for the month of June, and that's going to be a theme. So what you're looking at, the first of these, and I'm not just going to do reviews this month, I also have plans for some editorials, because I visit hip-hop websites, and they they bring up things such as things in rap that they feel like discussing. I think I'm going to start doing that, kind of get in-depth rather than just reviewing a CD. I'm going to express some opinions, prove some good points, show some points of view, and have other thoughts and extra ideas that you may not find elsewhere on other folks' channels. So this is important, but the only the only real mistaken part of this is that I cannot come up with these ideas on the spot. So it's really, I'm taking it as I go, but I'm going to put more emphasis upon what content you're going to start to see on this channel. So that, there's a shit ton of rock reviews coming. And one of which that I'm going to do is I'm going to compare Hybrid Theory by Linkin Park to The Hunting Party, which is their newest album. And the reason why I'm doing that is because between those two albums, it was 14 years, and they said that they were returning to their roots. So we're going to take a look at what changed between Hybrid Theory and The Hunting Party. So I'm going to... I might compare it track by track just to figure out. I'm definitely going to compare the singles, but I, I don't even know what I'm going to do just yet. I'm going to have to listen to The Hunting Party again. My breath control's kind of off, but this is what I'm going to do, and that's just one of the many vlogs that are going to step up. So these, these sorts of editorials that are going on, you can look forward to it. I have tons of ideas that pretty much just needs to, I just need the light bulb above my head. So that's what's going to go on. And I'm trying to think else to wrap this up. Yeah, there's going to be more reviews, like I said, and we're just going to have some fun in June. And my channel is turning one year old on the 14th. And so I definitely want to improve upon what I was at last year because you know reflecting on that I think the main thing was was you know I have seen lots of things that I wasn't expecting to see in this past year and I owe it to a, n a number of projects that I reviewed if you can tell you know some of the ones that I've given like a 10 out of 10 like chocolate starfish and I would say possibly trying to think of what else yeah chocolate starfish was definitely a big one but some of these actually continued to develop in my head and I figured out I like this about six or seven times more than I originally did and this is definitely a good thing but you know I wasn't expecting it in June of 2015 so now that this is now that I know about it, I'm definitely going to expect that so that when June of 2017 comes around, it's not so much that you know I feel like such a newcomer. So that's that's what's going to happen, and this June is going to be very exciting if I can pull off everything that I'm trying to, and it should lead further into the summer and the rest of the year.